Hello. Did you know you can create your own applications in the internet? In my example, we would like to ensure that when an employee leaves, their accounts are disabled and any property is returned. The HR manager needs to inform the various departments of the employee's last day, and each department must sign off that the accounts have been disabled and any items returned. We could do this with forms and approval workflow, but the departments aren't really approving or denying a request. Instead, they just need to acknowledge that they are aware the employee is leaving and have taken the necessary steps. So, instead of using forms, I'm going to configure my own application to handle this process. I'll repurpose the read confirmation option to ensure the various departments have signed off and the review date option to remind the HR manager they need to follow up and ensure everything has been taken care of. Let's take a look at how this application works. When an employee is leaving, the first thing the HR manager has to do is add a new item to my employee exit application. As the HR manager, I'm going to enter in the information from the employee who's leaving. I'm going to choose their last day, say December 16th. I can add notes, so for instance, uh, say I know that they have a Salesforce account, so I'll put a note there. I'm going to set the status to in progress so I can track this. And I'm going to set a reminder for myself that the day after their last day, I need to review this to make sure everything has been properly revoked. Uh, finally, I'm going to enable read confirmation. We'll see this in a second. And I'll click publish. Now that this new item has been added, any of the people in the various departments responsible for revoking access have gotten an email. Uh, and let's go into the internet as Johnny Wu to see what that looks like. So I'm now logged in as Johnny. I would have gotten an email letting me know an employee is leaving. And I will also have a system alert. So if I go into my profile, under alerts, Here's the new employee record of someone who's leaving that was added by Kelly Bristow, our HR manager. Let's click their name and jump to the application. So this is the information that was provided by the HR manager. And now here I have this confirmation box where once I've actually removed any access, I can confirm that I have removed any resources issued by my department. Let's go ahead and add comments for anything I've done. So I'll put here, disabled email account. I'll add this as a comment, shows up under my name. If that's the only thing that I needed to do, I now can click here. Here I'm logged in as Derek Foster, who's responsible for the security badges. So I can see Johnny's comment and I can add my own. So I'll add my comment. And I'll confirm that I've also revoked anything that needs to be taken back from this user. Okay, so let's switch back to the HR manager. And we can see what this looks like now. So we can see that Derek and Johnny have taken their actions and I can manually verify who's actually confirmed that they've taken actions. And there I can see that both Derek and Johnny have confirmed that they've revoked any accesses that are part of their department. So that's a quick overview of some of the things you can do with a custom application. And if you've got some more time, I can show you behind the scenes on how this was configured. Here's my application in the admin screens. When I first added it, I added it based off of this blank template. Because the application was blank when I started, I had to add my own fields 
as well as choose the fields I wanted to be displayed in list view as well as in item view. If I jump into the fields, one of the key ones here is review date. So as mentioned before, when you have a review date, the system automatically emails the creator of the item uh, on the date that's chosen. So in our case, we used it to remind the HR manager that they need to make sure all of the different accounts were revoked. I also used the read confirmation option, which is up here under properties. If I scroll down, there's the link. Note that the message that's displayed to the user is just customizable. So in my case, I've changed it to say that they've confirmed that any resources have been removed. And the final piece is to ensure that the different members of the different departments get emailed and alerted when a new employee exit record is added. Uh, to do that, it's a little bit hidden, but if you're the administrator, you go up here to My Profile, scroll down to Alerts, and then choose Manage Subscriptions. When I first set it up, I chose Push Group Alerts. I had previously created my employee exit group, so that contains all the members of the departments who need to remove accounts or take back property. Then I chose my application. And then finally I set it for sending both site and email alerts, but only when there's a new item added. So uh, only when there is a new employee that's leaving. Uh, finally, I had to select my folder and then I click save. So thanks for watching and hopefully you'll try building your own custom applications in the internet.